Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. In this video, I want to interpret this plot that we've created in the previous video and added uh, these OLS fitted lines for each of the stores. So what I've done is I've written out this model that we have visualized here as an OLS model and printed the summary. And as you can see in this one simple command, we have visualized a fairly complicated model. It is uh, the model that explains sales by advertising spending and a dummy of whether uh, a store is store one or store two, as well as an interaction term of advertising spending and store. So let's interpret each of those coefficients. When we do OLS and we include dummies, we always have to include uh, one less dummy than we have groups in this variable. So in this case, we have two groups, we have store one and store two. So we include a single dummy for store two. A dummy shifts the intercept for the group that this dummy is for. So the intercept of store one, which can kind of be seen as the baseline, is just this estimate of the intercept of our model. As we can see, this is roughly 50,000 and store one has an intercept, if we draw this uh, all the way to zero, of roughly 50,000. As you can also see, the intercept of store two is somewhat higher than the intercept of store one. The intercept is the value that we would, according to our model, this is uh, of course usually smooth uh, because we don't actually observe zero advertising spending, or we might, but uh, this is according to our model, the value of sales that we would achieve if we would spend absolutely nothing on advertising. So if advertising is zero, then you know advertising zero times its coefficient is of course zero, and this interaction is also zero, and therefore we only have the intercept for store one, and then an additional shifted intercept for store two. As you can see, the coefficient for store two here is positive, which reflects that this intercept here is higher. Then we have a coefficient of 48 on advertising. That is, again, the uh, slope of the line for store one. That is, if store one, because we have this interaction effect here, this is just the coefficient for store one, which is our baseline, spends a, another euro on advertising, on average, the sales will increase uh, by 48. So that's a pretty good deal. For store two, again, through this interaction here, we have a shifted slope in this case. And as we can see here, the slope is only around half as steep as the one for store one. And this is also reflected in our plot here. So even though if they would not advertise at all, both of the stores, store two would have more sales. That is due to this higher intercept at a, an appropriately high spending on advertising store one is actually going to see higher sales because its slope is steeper for advertising than 
the one for store two. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.